we're back with another episode of I Shake My Head. Hello, friends of the podcast. Hey, everybody. Samantha. Lisa, how you doing? Good. In case people didn't know, it's with Lisa and Sam. <laughs> uh-huh. 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 Something new about me. Can you tell? Can you see it? Can you see it? If you're watching this on the YouTube people, you'll see it. Can you see it, Samantha? Well, the way trying. you're pursing your lips, I'm suggesting you've got something on them. So because my lips are always dry, right? Because I'm being being dehydrated. <laughs> guess what I'm doing? I'm using Vaseline on them. Look at them. Look at how glistening they are. They're glistening. And I totally get, I totally, totally understand why people use Vaseline on things. It feels good. It feels good. What? Oh, you. I'm not talking like that. Yes. You know what? And immediately my mind went to like the dirtiest versions of what you could use Vaseline for. Right. I'm just using them on my lips, which I guess still, if you were being dirty girl, you could still put them on your lips and <laughs> well, let it, it wouldn't, slide. Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> right. You got to go there. You might as well go there easily. Uh, moisten. <laughs> it feels good though. It feels good. So is uh, is your Vaseline routine working for your dry, dehydrated lips? Yeah, as long as I remember to use it. Or better yet, you could just start drinking water. Yeah, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. I actually have a Powerade today, <laughs> right? Because I'm dehydrated because... Uh-huh, honey, yeah. do you know why I'm dehydrated, Samantha? Why is that, Lisa? Because I've had to take so many fucking cold pills. You know why? Because you <laughs> gave your sinus infection to me. And... Just so you know, you've given your sign. You, Samantha Sperling, have officially given your sinus infection to people at my work. Yes. One of them was my boss boss. Oh, not boss boss. Boss boss. Oh, yeah. darn it. Yeah. Right? Boss I'm boss. S- yeah. I'm sorry, boss boss. It was only meant for Lisa. Right? <laughs> But you didn't tell me that, right? So you then- had, you know what? I have zero sympathy because you <laughs> had zero sympathy for me when I told you I wasn't feeling well and we were going to the lake and all you thought was, get medicated, shut up, take your meds. We're not That's canceling the this message. Trip. We're not That was the message. Trip. Remember, I was pissy and I sent you a message. Believe it or not, every now and then I get pissy, people. <laughs> oh, remember? Oh, oh. I sent you a message saying, do I need to stop packing? You were such a hoe bag. <laughs> I knew full well that it, I could, I would need to be on my deathbed, and only then I might get out of not going to the lake. Right, only then it would all just depend. And the thing is, my dedication to the lake because I also enjoy it and I love it there. Yes. I was fully prepared. I came stocked with lots of lots of meds. You did, but yet you didn't come with a mask because then I caught it. And then I ended up giving it to people. I'm and not I just masking was, for you. I just thought it was a sinus infection. Didn't think you could catch that. Well, okay, but Michelle didn't get sick, did she? The HHG? No. You guys know the HHG. She's our other best friend. No, she did not get sick. She's the reluctant best friend, I think. <laughs> she's the hyper hype girl that's super hyper. And she's our girl, but only when she wants to be. <laughs> she's always our girl but she only makes appearances it's sporadic yeah you know it's okay comes and goes comes and right. goes right i mentioned to her about billy idol and she's like oh thanks for reminding me she's like <laughs> i'll never she's like i'll never remember that i'm like it's in a week <laughs> it's in a week and i will remind you 16 times between now and then and then she texts me back like five minutes later what was it that you're reminding me about again i'm like oh stop this girl never finishes her email, her messages, right? She only reads bits of them, <laughs> bits of them. So yeah, so good on you. Good on you, Samantha. Yeah. It was only go. meant for you. I know, right? So I come home from work, sit down, want to watch a little bit of the Blue Jay game, right? Uh-huh. Sit down, just taking it easy, comfy chair, feet on the coffee table. I look at Mike, feet on the coffee table. We're just enjoying the game. And then all of a sudden I thought, when did this become acceptable? When did it become okay to put our feet on the coffee table? I'm surely to God, not the only person that does this. No, I use mine as a footstool. Right. But when did we start doing that? I, I don't know because I mean, if you grew up when we grew up, is it back from in the, the day? It, is it from the seventies? Is it from the seventies? You you never put your feet on the furniture. Ever. Like you didn't even put them on the couch. Your feet no. went on the floor. Your feet were on the floor, or your feet definitely never went on the coffee table. 
Never. In the good section of your home? Oh, you didn't even go in the good section of your home unless no. it was Christmas. Yeah. Right? Ever. And here we are. Just our, our coffee table literally holds <clears throat> two sets of feet and two remote controls. We've become... I don't know, lazy, trashy. Is it, is it trashy or are we rebelling because of all the time feet don't go on the table? Feet don't go on the table. Oh, maybe it's like instinctively, screw you. But yet I don't remember Bear. ever doing that. I don't ever remember putting them on the table. I never, we never did. Right? We just grew up knowing you wouldn't dare. No, don't you don't dare. You da don't you dare. <laughs> don't you dare. Don't you dare. That was the motto of Gen X. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Right? You come home, you make craft dinner, you dare. You're going to, you're going to make something different. Don't you dare. Nope. Right? You're going to make scrambled eggs. Don't you dare. Craft dinner, grilled cheese sandwich, peanut butter and jam. <laughs> Go at it, Lisa. Go at it. Right. Yeah. Don't you dare, you know, experiment. Don't you dare experiment. Right. So I don't know. I just thought it was odd that there we are just sitting there relaxing with our feet on a, on a piece of furniture that holds, well, I don't know what it holds. We just, apparently just our feet. Feet. A remote control. Like I literally position my chair perfectly so my feet hit the coffee table at the right place. <laughs> like I'm adjusting my chair all the time. I'm like, somebody's moved my chair because my feet are not at the coffee table where they're supposed to be. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, you only live with one other person, your husband. Right. So it's him. He says what happens is when I get up because we have the wood floors, my chair slips back. Oh, that's true. Right? Yeah. So I'm always having to adjust. So I guess that's why I've been what I've been thinking. Oh, but I've been okay. You been could be thinking. losing your marbles too, hey? Well, right. 55. Although a girl at work today was like, I wouldn't have pegged you for more than 40. I mean, she's 19. <laughs> and I'm like, I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> right. I'll take any compliment. Oh, oh my God. You could be her mother. Her mother's five years younger than me. Oh has, my God. And she comes from a family with six kids. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Who does oh, that? Oh, who has who, six kids? Who do that? Who do that on purpose? Who does that anymore? God, right? How about have no kids? Ugh. Right? Okay. Speaking of kids, I got to We got to go there. We oh. talked about this. We went out the other night. We talked yeah, about this. We, 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 I just felt like we needed to go there again. Right? We didn't. We didn't. We didn't, we tried to be good and God, then we got out on our own and we were thinking, and then we were like, we, you know what we're talking about friends of the podcast? We got to revisit Gypsy Rose having a baby. I know. Right. We, we talked got, about it last week. Yeah. We got questions. We got questions. Who's asking the first question? Who wants to look like the ultimate shithead? Me or you? I think you should go first. Okay. Are we sure she's mentally sound and she should be having a fucking baby? Could she be like her mother? Could she be like her mom? How can like, she have a baby? Well, that's my question. How is it medically possible for her to have a baby? Because she went through so much shit as yeah, a kid. Totally. Chemotherapy, other drugs. She lost her teeth for heaven's sake. Right. Although she I lost do her think, hair. Although I do think that no hair and no teeth still does not affect you having a baby. No, I Samantha, know, but it's... But how does it affect your internal organs? Well, everything has to all the amount of trauma that her body went through. And, uh. and, 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 and then the, like, hi. And then she killed her mom. Like, like, let's not even like, hi, she killed her mama. I get, <gasps> I get it. People. She got every reason to. And I understand why she did the interview. She needed to show people that, that she she's was not crazy. calm and right. clear and able to, potentially handle this possibly, phase of her life possibly kind of sedated maybe she was i don't know i don't, I don't think know so. i don't know it was awkward it's awkward and what do you do you just tippy toe around it i think that she'll be watched i think that her family her friends will she doesn't have friends we'll watch her she doesn't have friends well she has a boyfriend now doesn't she the, yeah till he the realizes man who that impregnated she's her Till he realizes that she's batshit crazy because, and understandably so, <laughs> like that should take years of getting over, not six months out of jail. And look at, I've got two husbands well, later and a baby. Okay. Okay. I can't believe it. I, she might've done work in jail. She was in jail for a length of mm -hmm. time. Was she not? Yeah. But her work should have been, thou shalt not kill your mama. Thou shalt not kill your mama. <laughs> well, I think it probably was around that. Right? Even though you have reason to, even though you have reason to. 
You still should not take someone else's life. You still shouldn't. And even though, but then now the haters are going to come out and they're going to say, but she didn't kill her. I know, but she thought it up. She thought it up. Right? So that's all kind of crazy thinking. I love a good serial killer, and but not her. And uh, I, it's not really a serial killer, I guess. No. I love a good killer. I love a good killing spree. I love a good crime. But I'm not ever going to act it out. Ever. You're weird. She acted it out. She's weirder. I know. I just have, cons I just had genuine concerns about I, that whole scenario. Felt that there was an elephant in the room yeah. and it was her yeah. being a we, little crazy. That we skirted yeah. around how we really felt about <laughs> her announcing she was pregnant. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Right. And, and we tried, right. But now I gotta, uh, I can't do it. <laughs> Because let's be serious. When someone says, oh, that's interesting, that's really a judgmental statement. Totally, right? And friends of the podcast, you know, nobody judges better than Lisa and Sam. <laughs> right? If you've listened to any of our 400 episodes, you know we're all about judging. Oh, yeah. So shake your heads at us. That's perfectly right? all okay. right. But guess what? I'm judging her. Yeah. And you know what? If you're not excited with what Lisa has said or myself, please add us whenever you feel you need to. We'll answer back. We'll answer back. <clears throat> yeah. Right. Let's just, just know that. Just know that it it is curious, questioning, concerned, concerned. Yes. At the very end, concerned. <laughs> and I only have so much room for judgmentalness happening at the end. Right. And then and then it go and then repeat. <laughs> right. The core. If it was a song, the chorus would be curious, concerned. Or that would be the main part, and the chorus would be judging, judging, judging. Let's just keep on judging, right? Because <laughs> that's what we're doing. Here. Uh, that is totally what we're doing. We're just judging care. her shit. We're judging her shit. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't think she's okay to have a baby right now. No. Well, no, she is not. And if I'm being honest, I don't feel like you're okay, Lisa, because I'm shaking my head at you. I thought you were going to say to have a baby, and I'm going to be like, no. I am not having a baby. No, I know you're not having a baby. Okay, good. I am shaking my head at you, though. A what? What? Is what? you know Why? that you know that phrase? Give them an inch, and they'll take a mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you. How is that me? Yeah, because Sarah, our new best friend, <laughs> yeah, who yeah. opened up, who opened up a chat group in WhatsApp, right. <laughs> Is now being bombarded by you, <laughs> but but here's the thing on a right? daily basis. But here's the thing, right? She's and our if, friend, and if I'm asking a question, you're <laughs> chirping in, and I'm like, I need you to not can I need you to not contribute to this conversation right now because I'm trying to have a conversation with your your new best friend, Sarah. Then you need to message me privately on the <laughs> private line. I feel like we have a party line here going. You need to message me on the private line saying I don't I don't think respond. Sarah I don't think she understood what she did. I don't think she yeah. understood the gate, the floodgate that she opened. Her question by going, was let's have a group chat. Let's have a group chat on WhatsApp. Yes, let's do that. <laughs> And then Absolutely. I'm like, awesome. This will keep her entertained for hours. Right. And drive Sarah Burke crazy. <laughs> right. And as you guys know, right, Sarah Burke, she's the she she's our new best friend. She the man. Right? She, she the man. boss. She the boss. She the boss. She she's the podcast boss. Right. <laughs> Right. And actually, totally. Sarah, is, Sarah is awesome, but I just really feel sad. So you feel bad for her? her? I do. She's I'm like, probably, I don't think uh, she understands just how chatty you can be. Right. And she doesn't understand that <laughs> I have a hard time wrapping it up. You go wrap it up. And no. then you, you sometimes need so many explanations of the same thing. I have lots in of like, lies. And then it's like, okay, what word in the last paragraph that I wrote caught her off guard? How can I rephrase <laughs> it in the exact same way, but yet different from the previous conversation so that she'll right. understand? Right. Does so, anyone follow me on this? Does right. anyone feel my pain? Friends of the podcast, do you feel my pain? So this is what I would say to that. Dear Sarah, you need to learn a little bit more about your new bestie. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right? she has to take that care when she's just, she can't just fire something off and then not expect that I'm going to have 125 questions. You have more than 125 right? questions. But I'm thrilled to have a new best friend. Oh, yes, I know. Right? And I'm sure she's just as happy. Yes. Right? 
Like, why wouldn't she be? Why wouldn't why, she be? Why wouldn't she be? Right? But you're, but I, so I don't feel I'm taking anything. I feel I was invited to become her best friend. And yes, you were. An open I invitation in the, the group chat. Yes. Open invitation in a group chat, Lisa. And then, and then she even said that she loves the group chat. And I'm like, <laughs> yes. And you were like, you floated on a cloud for the right. rest of the day. <laughs> all the pretty girls walk like this. <laughs> and all I thought was, oh, God, this is going to inflate her ego even more. That's right. Right. Totally. But you were you you did, Sarah, you made her day. And right. and just just know that. Welcome to the family. Yeah. Welcome to <laughs> welcome to the group chat. <laughs> right? The biggest regret one day you're gonna have. <laughs> All right, but I'm moving on from that, right? As much as yes. I appreciate Sarah, I appreciate American politics a whole lot more. Oh god, my yes. Poli my American political <clears throat> game just got amped up. It went from boring and dull to exciting again. All because the old man dropped out. I'm back in it. <laughs> I'm staying up late. I'm I'm watching the loops, doing I it know. all. I know, right? I know. Can I get a hand clap for Kamala? Kamala, Kamala. Kamala. Uh, sorry, I call her I call her Kamala because of the with wrestling there was oh. WWE wrestler Kamala the Ugandan headhunter. Oh, okay. So, so I, her name's very similar to his. Uh huh. Right? I but, keep I keep seeing a meme of uh our our the VP talking about coconuts do you know anything about that i don't know anything about in, a, in a speech she was like you know just shake your coconuts or something about coconuts and i'm like I do not know i need the full context of what the hell she's talking about <laughs> i do not know what that means i don't know I do it's not just know. something that's going around but you know what you know what i heard there are people who are concerned about Biden because he's been missing in action for a few days. There's oh. rumors going around that he's he's dead, dead. or like dying. He's and super in sad. No, he's just super <laughs> sad. Okay, I feel he's just super sad. I'm going with just super sad. I know, but people were asking for confirmation of whether or not he was alive. <laughs> like people in Congress were asking to actually formally see really? him or have an acknowledgement that he is alive. Yeah. Cause they didn't, they wanted confirmation that he actually really did resign. Wow. So what do they want? Like what they do with the Pope, like a puff of black smoke or something. I don't know. Maybe a picture. He is That's alive. Click, right. Click. Cause that picture is going to look any different than any other picture. He is alive. I, know. Click. I, know. I don't know. I know. Weird, weird, but it's exciting. It's exciting. Yes, I right? know. She's back in it. I don't know if she can win it, but uh, she's got my vote. If I'm an American, she's got my vote. <laughs> and I'll, and, 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 and again, don't at me. But four years ago, I was picking her to be the president before she had to step out because she didn't. Oh have enough people supporting her no that's okay that's, so is that so not I've been with, no, no offense i'm i i don't know i'm not i'm not gonna say either way time has passed it's water under the bridge do people like her enough to vote for her? does she have know. the confidence of her party yeah oh uh, yeah because hi they just all elected her to, to do this job i she's hope got, so she's got the party now you just have to it, now you have to it comes down to crazy crazy felon <laughs> Or the first black American is woman. he a felon? Has, has he been in, has he been convicted of anything? Yeah, does he not owe seven hundred and eighty million dollars to somebody? Oh, I don't know. There, I don't know. I've lost track. He's but. he's been forgiven of a couple of them. A couple of cases have been dropped. Wow, he's like he's like the non millennial saint. Apparently, he's a Teflon. That's what right? he is. And then he'll do a miracle, and somebody will will I don't know. Actually, maybe that's something he should consider. He's going <laughs> to. To the Vatican and touching, <laughs> touching, right, touching the tombstone people, of the millennial saint, and you mean. know asking for a wing and a prayer. <laughs> tombstone. The millennial saint's not in a tombstone. He's like full body in a glass ca coffin. No. Yes, he's on display there. Oh my God! What does he look like? He still looks the same. The picture shows. No. Apparently, I guess if you're a saint, you don't decompose and rot. I don't oh, know. that is so gross. Yeah, hi. that's what they do with that. And there's your saint. There's your saint. Oh, that is so gross. I don't know. I don't know enough about the decomposing. I And maybe it's a fixed picture. It could be. Hi, uh -huh. we don't fact check. We don't know shit like that. I'm no, just that's saying. True. We don't know I did shit. see the, I saw the picture someplace in my travels. Okay. Okay. I, all right. All right. He still but, had his sneakers on. Oh, 
okay. All I right. Don't I don't know. Uh, I don't know. However, however, uh, you will be stuck to the TV for the next how many months do we have now to the election? We have 105 days. Oh, dear Lord. So you'll be days. watching that? Yes. Your fantasy football. I just got just got the email. Got to pick my team on August 31st. Oh, my God. He asked me if you got it. Got it. I had to. Okay, you guys. She's playing. She's playing. The winner is playing. Okay. Right. okay. I went and checked my I went and checked my status. Still, I got a little crown beside my name. Oh. Right? Because who is the champ? Me. Oh, my God. I feel like I need to play. And then I'm just going to be you? random shit. Just do it. Just for fun. <laughs> right? Just join for fun. I'm just <laughs> randomly picking shit. Right? That's what I did last year until I learned how to do it. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, my God. I know. I have a gift. Yes, Lisa, you do. Unfortunately, it did not come out with the baseball one, though. It was too much work. I got tired of it. Yeah, see? I lost interest. That's what I do. Yeah. I lose interest. Uh -huh. I lose interest. It's too Whatever. long. It's too long. Whatever. But Whatever. I think in the next 105 days, though, uh -huh. it's going to be a barn burner. It's going to be a barn burner. I can't wait. I'm pretty darn excited, Samantha. I'm pretty, pretty darn excited. I'm going to have my snacks all ready every night. Well... <laughs> Not too many snacks, right? Because the girl's got to watch your figure. Oh, my God. Right? But I'm going to be ready for it. Yeah. All right. Keep me updated. I won't You're watch well. it. If I anything, know. I'll probably just catch snippets on TikTok. Well, that's perfect for people like you. Uh-huh. Because I don't care. That's perfect for people like me. It's just a highlight reel. Yeah. Right? I'm good with All it. Right. Okay. So, in McDonald's, uh -huh. in Germany... Okay. They've released a new flavored Coke. Oh, first off, why do they got to do that? I don't know, but it's, uh, I think it's going to be controversial. Oh. It's um, popcorn flavored. What the hell is, uh, I just. Apparently, they add a shot of popcorn flavoring into the Coke. Why? 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 Why would we oh, do my. that? One what? is the popcorn flavoring sweet. Butter? Is, is, it, it, is it butter? Butter. <laughs> Maybe if it's butter, 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 butter. That's like, but it's then gonna like sit at the top because it's like oily base. I don't want butter like, in my Coke. No. Or is it like that mushy taste when it's in your mouth of the popcorn? I don't know. Nothing what does... good comes from this invention. So basically it's corn flavoring, right? Because it's popcorn. Yeah. Right. So you're just adding a vegetable to your Coke? Why? It takes me back to all my whys. Why? 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 It makes no sense. I don't know. It I'm makes... shaking my head at this. Yeah. I don't I don't understand why you would do that to Coke, but then I just saw a new trend where they'd put fluff on the inside of a cup like what and you pour what? Coke into it. Marshmallow fluff? fluff? Marshmallow Ew. fluff. It's in the States. We don't Ew. I don't think that exists here in Canada. Okay. We're not crazy. Right. <laughs> Sorry, America. America. Sorry, America. Fluff America. seems weird. Yeah. So what I saw them do is they took a glass, they they slathered the inside with marshmallow fluff and poured Coke into it and then mixed it up. And apparently it tastes delightful. Sweet as oh, shit. You're probably going to lose a tooth just drinking it. Hurts my fake teeth just thinking about I, it. And then I thought, why would you ruin a perfectly ice cold Coca-Cola with mushroom fluff? Like that's disgusting, right? With Coke on its fluff. Coke, yeah, Coke on its own, super sweet. Yeah, too sweet for you, right? You, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen you drink a cola. I like Coke, but it it has to be so cold. But not very. I don't think I've ever seen you drink. But a if Coke. it's warm, yeah. yeah, I don't even like Diet Coke. <laughs> oh, I, I don't like Diet. Diet Coke's disgusting. Any other Diet Pop, fine. Diet Coke, yeah. yeah. Oh no, and I've tried diet or uh, diet ginger ale, and ginger ale is my pop of choice if I was right. going to drink pop. I can't even do diet ginger ale because it tastes like that aspartame. Asp oh, I don't mind that. That doesn't bother me. Yeah, you have your you have issues with that. I should. I, my head I have a too. very I have a sensitive palate, Lisa. Right, she's so fancy that way. <laughs> I'm sure, friends of the podcast, that you agree with me that diet. There are some diet drinks that are not delightful. Diet root beer is delightful. I can handle that. Right. I would prefer the real root beer because if you're going to drink root beer, why are you drinking drinking diet? Yeah, fair. But say you can't, then you just deal with it. Well, okay. But if you right. have the diabetes and you still want to drink it. Diabetes people should get the pop too. 
<laughs> right? Right? Don't leave the diabetes. We're not keeping out. anybody out. Right? We're inclusive. We say we love everybody, right? We say we don't pick favorites uh, here. Oh, yes. Right? We don't. Okay. But I also have, I'm shaking my head this week too. I'm shaking my head at the young people. Are they me? Are they perhaps Gen Z? Is that is that the newest people? I believe so. There's also a new group I was told today. They're called Gen Alpha. Yep, that's the youngest. Okay, so those guys are, everybody apparently wants to be a Gen Alpha. Oh, that, they, they love the name. Because are they cool? I don't know what they are. I don't know. I okay. couldn't tell. I felt too old to make that judgment. <laughs> However, <laughs> what I noticed from the Zs and, and, and the Alphas, I guess, is that they overuse the word anxiety. I oh. have anxiety. There's so much anxiety. I feel anxious. There's too much anxiety. I have like, enough, 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 enough people. I get that there are people that have that disorder. Totally uh -huh. understand that. Yeah. But not every person under the age of, from the age of 20 to 25 has it. <laughs> not every person has it. Uh, no. Well, right? I mean, okay. So, but part of being a human is Just that you will come across Yes. Now, listen to me. Mm. Stop interrupting. Sorry. <laughs> Fish. Stop interrupting. The part of a human is that you will encounter situations where you feel unsettled, right? And potentially anxious, but that's normal. Right. Because right. we are meant to feel happy, sad, fearful, anxious, all of those yes. things. Right. It's when you go into a situation and you would go from zero to 60 yeah. for feeling anxiety. Right. That is legit, right? That's legit. It could, be, it could be a past experience that makes you have that experience right. every time you do the right. same, you can encounter the same thing. But if I'm a again, student, I'm not, I'm not a psychologist, therapist, no. whatever. No, but if I'm a student and let's just say I'm taking law yeah. and I have a heavy course load. I need to understand going into that course load that there's going to be some anxious moments for me because I'm going to have a lot of deadlines coming up. Are you kidding? If you're <laughs> not anxious, you're not alive. <laughs> if you're not anxious in university, you are me. And you just had the best time of your life. <laughs> I didn't give a shit. Didn't give a shit. Just came, just went with the C. <laughs> oh my God. There were so many times I would just like, I would just sit there going, how do I write a paper and study for exam in two days? Yeah, right. I'd be me too. And then I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I guess I will answer the knock on my dorm door. And yes, I'll come out and drink some draft beer tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll go to work and then stay for a drink after work. Right. Why wouldn't I? I'm just shaking my head at the fact that yeah. I think that word gets overused by our younger generations. Like yes. That. I mean, life is life as you get, as you get older, life is full of anxious moments, but that doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but there's crippling what? anxiety, which I totally which is understand. Totally legit. Absolutely. I totally get that. But I agree that, right? that we have all decided that we can't handle everyday life. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Sometimes we just need to handle it. Okay, so we had a funny conversation the other day about glass showers. We saw something. So I was at, did we see a commercial about glass showers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I said to you, I hate a glass shower. I don't know why we need that in our life. I get that shower time is personal time. Uh -huh. You clean your parts, you do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. But I don't need to worry about the fact that I'm on display, even though nobody's in the bathroom with me. I'm still on public display if somebody <laughs> comes in, takes a wrong turn and walks in. Right. So you think that on the off chance, someone is going to unlock your bathroom door right. and walk in. Yes. A glass shower is a bad idea. It's a horrible idea. Just trying to like horrible figure idea. out where your brain is at. Just right there. Like say somebody breaks into your house and you're having a shower. They kick down your door and you're in the glass shower. Not only are they stealing you of all your stuff, they're stealing you of your dignity too. <laughs> right? They're stealing my dignity. I'm sorry. So someone is going to break into the shower because they've broken into your house. Maybe they're going to see what's in the bathroom. Because they hear the shower going. Maybe. Who's there? Maybe and it's they're like psycho. But if they're... <laughs> Right. Only okay, but if it was psycho and you have a glass shower, 
What if you, okay. It's then, not really the same scenario. I know. Cause it's different. Cause that was a shower curtain, but okay. What if you forget to lock the bathroom door? Say you're a mom and you're having a shower in your glass shower and you forget to lock the bathroom door and Johnny walks in. Then Johnny gets to see his naked mom. Right. And that's creepy. Johnny don't need to see your naked mom. Right? <laughs> so it's your time. Those hypothetical, never going to happen to you reasons. <laughs> right. I don't like a glass shower <laughs> for those reasons. <laughs> oh, right. Man. Yeah. Don't. You make totally. zero sense. Do you understand that? It totally makes sense. It doesn't. It totally does. No, it totally does. In doesn't. my mind, it totally makes sense. <laughs> I'm safeguarding my dignity by not having a glass shower you in know, case of it, an emergency. I think what's important to note here is that you would have to have some dignity in order to like safeguard it. Well, there's that true. Good point. So I don't I don't think you have to worry. Well, I have pride. Right? <laughs> I do not look the same as I did 25 years ago. Probably not so much you, different, but. <laughs> so let's name it what it is. You don't want to be embarrassed or humiliated. I don't need people seeing my nakedness. You don't want to see. You don't want I don't people want to, to see, see the fact that your boobs are down to your waist. Right. And that it's just blending in with my pouch. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just flat in the front. If you really think about it, <laughs> it's just body. Right. We literally have become a Barbara Papa as we age. Right. <laughs> We're just like a weeble. I'm oh, totally a weeble. Right. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. They don't fall down. Exactly. Right. <sighs> okay. You know, I was thinking I've been, I've been uh, catching these, these uh, pictures on my Facebook posts or my Facebook page yeah. that, you know, are all about back home in Oliver. Okay. And in and around that area. And I remembered, weirdly enough, that there was a taxidermy oh. on the outskirts of Oliver. Wow. And I was like, as a child, I always wanted to stop at the taxidermy. And see the see, animals? To see what was up. I'm going to tell you, Samantha, right? It takes a special kind of person that's interested in that. I know. Right, like these animals have been killed and stuffed, right, and probably placed in awkward positions, like Arr! totally right. Because why wouldn't they be, right? Like the raccoon that looks like he was just caught somehow, yeah, climbing, right. And then you have like lounges and bars, and people put them on the walls. Yes, that's delightful. I have, I, I, I don't understand the whole taxidermy thing. I get, right? You have a pet and people, oh, uh, I don't I Actually, no, I'm lying. I don't get that. I don't get why you'd stuff your pet either. <gasps> oh, right. People do that. It, it's a thing. Concerning. It's a thing. It why is. Are, why can't we just, why is a picture? I thought a picture was worth a thousand words. Why is that not enough? <laughs> Look at, here's the deer. So I have my, my poor buddy is, had passed, has passed many years now, yes. but I have his ashes in a little urn. Okay. That's fine. Right. That's just ashes. Uh -huh. If you had poor buddy stuffed, I'd be like, okay, number one, he was a bad cat. If memory serves, he, he was, was a good cat. And number two, why, why don't we just get you a new one? Why don't we get you one? Although I guess I kind of have a stuffed cat. <laughs> you do have a stuffed cat. But it's different. She never lived. No, that's true. Right? She never that's lived. different. We're talking about fake cat Maggie friends, the podcast, right? You know, my stuffed cat that I, Mike and I feel is like our next of kin. Uh -huh. Right? I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I think tax, I think it's weird and creepy. So are you shaking your head at that? Totally shaking my head at that. Shaking your head at why people would stuff things and then I'm shaking my head at why that why you, and why you would like that. Yeah. Even better. What if they made like lamps out of them? Creepy. Like furniture. No. Like bad enough to make furniture. I'm gonna, out of a, I'm gonna sit on a bear chair. <laughs> right? like, I don't think we should be proud of our work like that. Right? I'm gonna turn a raccoon light on. Or if we or maybe it was a thing of the past. I feel we know better now. Oh, do you think? Well, that's why it's probably, I remember the last time we went to Oliver last summer, uh -huh. we, we drove past the building. It's not that anymore. So obviously taxidermy thing didn't of the pay. Past. Thing of didn't the past. Pay. I don't know. Yeah. Friends of the podcast thoughts. What do you think? You're all yeah. about stuffing uh, <laughs> dead animals and hanging them up for people oh, to see. Seems so weird. creepy. <laughs> Seems creepy. So we had this, we had this debate the other day. You and oh, I. I won though. You didn't win. 
Yes, you I didn't did. Win. No, because if you Google it, you'll see that there is a difference. Know it all that you're not actually knowing at all this time. Okay. <laughs> so, friends of the podcast, the debate is Hollandaise versus Bernays. That's part one. <laughs> Sam feels they're the exact same thing, which they're not. Hollandaise is more acidity, uh -huh. acidic, acidic, and Hall and Bernays is gross. Okay. Well, so, is it sweet? Bernays? Yeah, no, they put it on your asparagus and on your some meats. It's nasty. No, they put hollandaise on your asparagus and stuff. No, they don't. Yes, they, are, they don't. Okay, so the reason why we are <laughs> arguing already about this is because we went out for supper last Wednesday with Lisa's sister who was in town. Hi, Linda. How you doing? Um, and uh, it was lovely dinner. And she had a steak that had um, Bernays. No, it was hollandaise, asparagus, yeah. crab, and something else. And it was on top of her steak. And it was, I read the, me I read the menu. Well, it was it wrong. It said hollandaise. You don't. You put bernays on things. How do you know that? Because I know. How do you know that? Because I just, who watches the cooking shows? I've never heard them say, let's whip up some hollandaise. Oh, you, oh don't worry, Bobby Flay. We have some leftover from breakfast and let's put it on our meat. <gasps> no. Uh -huh. No. So that's okay. part one of the argument that we yes. cannot agree with. So friends of the podcast, weigh in. Are they two different things? Or are yes. They one of the same? I'm sure they are, they are two different things because when Michelle makes the hollandaise sauce for us on the Benedict eggs, the, the eggs Benedict that we get at the lake, right. she puts a little Bernays into the hollandaise sauce to okay. juice it up a bit. What I'm saying is that they're not the same because one is good and one is gross. <laughs> okay. So let's take it further. If uh -huh. hollandaise is what's good and it's one of the best sauces ever, uh -huh. why is it only used on eggs? Because it really, like, what else would you want that why very not, rich sauce on? Let's dip a hot dog in it. Let's dip shit oh, in my, it. Seriously? I don't know. I'm just thinking, why is it just limited to eggs? Okay. So if you want to experiment, uh, that's your... Yeah, that's what you're doing this summer. You're going to buy a hot dog. You're going to get the weird food and you're going to dip hollandaise. You're going to dip it in saying, hollandaise. Right? Hollandaise is delicious. Why can't you put your fries in it? You can. I've eaten them with potatoes. Okay. So so you wouldn't do that with Bernays. Why? Because Bernays is gross. Oh my god. I feel that that's the end of the that's the end of this conversation. It is not the end of the conversation. It's the end of it. It's because you can't prove it. Cuz I'm right and you're wrong. You can't prove that. I feel I can. I I feel I just did. <sighs> uh -huh. You're welcome. You're annoying. And I have dipped my sausage in, in hollandaise sauce before. That too. sounded weird. I've dipped my sausage. Don't say my like breakfast that. sausage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> filthy animal. Oh my God. <laughs> Sounds like I got it. I dipped my sausage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, dirty mind. Scrub your head. Hi. Who took Vaseline on my lips someplace it never needed to go? Because we all know that people use Vaseline for various reasons and there are <laughs> sexual reasons for that. <laughs> that is and why we, my mind went there. And we all know that people dip their sausage and get their dinky stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Right. But just remember that you shouldn't use Vaseline and a condom together because it will deteriorate the condom and then poop, you're pregnant or boop, you got stuff. Hi, we don't, we claim not to teach people stuff. Stop teaching people things. <laughs> it's the one thing I know. We don't know that for sure. <laughs> Can't say you know it because then people are going to be like, how come she knows that? Right? Because that's I what I'm attention. thinking right now. Right now I'm thinking, how come she knows that? I don't know. I never knew that. <laughs> I, oh my God. Seriously. I've never, heard, I've never heard that before. That's It's condom use 101. I don't know. I guess I just used them. I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's all. That's all I got to say. Forgot, I forgot. You're a little Miss Innocent. <laughs> right? Totally. I don't have this big sword past like you. No, you don't. I do not. I do no, you not, don't. Samantha. <clears throat> but I have to say, I appreciate when someone has planned out the last moments of their life so well that even in death, they get one over on someone. <laughs> oh, I knew when I heard this, I thought I knew he was going to appreciate this story. And I love it. Shannon Doherty, God bless and God rest her soul. Right. Laughing in the afterlife. Holy hell. She left a list of people 
she did not want to attend her funeral. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Yes, bitch. Yes. Right? right? Good for her. Good for her. There's I, nothing wrong with that. I think that is perfect. And I encourage anyone who's hearing this to consider that. <laughs> I think that that's, and tuck it away, put it in your safety deposit box. Yes. Keep it someplace safe with your will. If they right? are still alive, they don't get to show up. I can think back to a couple times with 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 previous oh. people passing away that I think a list would have come in real handy. I, I'm thinking if my grandmother had known about making a list of people she didn't want at her right. funeral, we could have had a funeral and then been at the door going, you're on the list. You can't right. come in. Sorry, it's right here. <laughs> Leona says no. Because that's why we didn't have a funeral for her because she did not want people she right. hadn't spoken to or, or or dealt with in the last 10 to 15, 20 years, however. So we didn't have a funeral for her. We, right. It was just so a family gathering. Should be how it is. Should be there. And, and you have to respect the dead. Yeah. So right. I'm just like, oh, my grandma would have appreciated that. Good. I hope her and Shannon Doherty are like, good on you. Good on you. Uh, I, I love that. that. Awesome. I thought it was good too. You know what I didn't like though? So are you watching Whitney Wade, my big fat, oh, fabulous but, wife? You know what? A little bit begrudgingly, I'm watching Whitney okay. Wade, Thor. Right? Oh, my God. Okay. Years ago, we had an episode, a podcast episode called Leggings versus Leggings. Uh-oh. That episode that was on this week for Whitney Wade, Thor, it was all about leggings. Oh. Only leggings. And I'm sorry, leggings in any size. And let's just refresh the people in case this is their first podcast, Samantha. What is the difference between a legging and a legging? A legging is something that is just nicely molded molded to your body. A legging is something that shows every dimple and every stretch mark you have on your body. Right. There's two, two very different things. One is well fitting and one is ill fitting. Ill fitting. <laughs> Typic typically seen out in public by the in 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 in, in different scenarios. Right? <laughs> yes. The legging is seen at the gym. The legging is seen at the Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Just if this is your first time hearing the podcast. Uh, that reminds me of a Facebook post that went around years ago. Uh, someone took a picture of a woman in Walmart. Was with, it me? Did I take the picture? No, it was okay. it was just a post and it's like check this out and it was a woman in beige colored leggings Flesh but you hair. had to look so close in order to figure out <laughs> that they were not her bare legs. And that's horrible. That's a legging. I'm, I'm like that is so wrong and they that's were so legging. tight. I don't need you know what? When it's a legging it's up the crack of your ass. And it's a camel toe. Oh, right. It is totally oh. both thing. Yeah. Like, like your ass cheeks are shown and your front cheeks are shown too. And it is so tight. It is tight all the way down oh, to the oh, ankle. Yeah. Right. Like it's like, I'm squeezing I have a sausage in right? a tube. <laughs> it's, it's like, it's like taking those off. Somebody's got to help you with that. Right. Oh Cause my God. they got to peel that scuba suit off. Yeah. And that my friends is not a legging. That's a legging. We support <laughs> leggings. Leggings are fine. Leggings got no place for oh, it. I got no place for leggings. Yeah. So I, I I agree, Lisa. We don't typically teach people things, but sometimes we need to teach them these things. We need, there's a few things, some life <laughs> lessons, right? Oh, because if you're not shaking your head at this, friends of the podcast, you should be. You should be. You should be. <laughs> and if you're wearing a legging, you just need to go and switch it over to a legging. That's all. That's all. Right? Oh, it's so not right. <laughs> so not right. No wrong in many, many ways. Oh. Yeah. You know that brand, the Hello Kitty brand? I do. I sell it in my gift shop. Okay. So apparently they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And the company's senior VP shocked the world by revealing that she's a little girl and not a cat. I saw this on the TikTok. I saw it on the TikTok and the man that was, was, was doing the side by side, uh -huh. he was like, just like exactly what I'm thinking. Have you seen Hello Kitty? She's, she's a kitty. She's a kitty. Apparently not. They claim she's a little girl. Apparently. Who has a kitty. Has a who pet. has a kitty. Has a pet. Has a pet. 
<laughs> I'm like, she's got whiskers. She's got ears. <laughs> but maybe it's a little girl playing a cat. I don't know, but I think the world is messed up right now when Hello Kitty is not a kitty, but a little girl. Right? Yeah. You know, I per personally, I don't really care. But I never cared till I, I never, ever no. cared about Hello Kitty. Never questioned Hello Kitty until yeah. I heard that Hello Kitty was, was, was a little girl. And I went to where Hello Kitty is in my shop and I'm like, you, my friend, are not a little girl. You are Hello Kitty. Hello <laughs> Kitty. Kitty. And yeah. I get people could be named Kitty. I get that. Uh -huh. But Kitty is also short for kitten, which is what she resembles, a kitten. <laughs> I don't get that. So doesn't the Hello Kitty have like legs and arms? Yeah, like she's standing. She's 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 she weighs the she weighs th the equivalent of 3 apples uh -huh. and stands 5 apples high. So kind of like the same height as a cat. I don't know. I don't get it. Okay. Maybe the young kids get it. I don't know. I don't get it. I think you know way too much about Hello Kitty. That's what oh, I think. Yeah. You know what I don't know enough about? I don't know enough about chicken recipes, Samantha, because I always am looking for a good chicken recipe, right? But uh -huh. all the good chicken recipes call for chicken thighs. I refuse to eat a chicken thigh because you eat a chicken thigh, you're next best thing to cannibal. You're just gnawing on somebody's thigh. <laughs> grosses me out chicken thighs gross me out you don't have a problem eating a nope. chicken breast but you nope. have a problem eating a chicken thigh such a problem with a thigh because it's a fatty piece of meat makes me feel barbaric it's a good piece of meat that's apparently what the recipes all think too <laughs> so i'm just looking for chicken recipes that don't include a cannibalistic thigh in them I don't know how you can separate the body parts of a chicken and think <laughs> one part is cannibalistic and the other part is not. That's because it just seems like when you go and you eat a chicken thigh, you're eating the fleshy part of a body. And a breast right? like, is not. Different. It's bigger, typically different. juicier. Different. It just seems different. What about a wing? different what about a drumstick why would you bother why would you bother like with a full drumstick or like a little one at the chicken wig on chicken wing like night? The, the little drumstick or the little chicken wing that's fine that's different that's those just, are baby chicks in case you're that's wondering just, i know you're but eating that's just that's just baby chicks yeah but i don't feel cannibalistic doing that that's just bits and pieces it's not a big old fleshy thigh Ugh. who who created this and weird... a thigh and and mm, who created this weird dynamic about thighs for you? I think just I did. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, is thighs usually brown meat too. On a white it chicken. is. On yes. a white chicken. Yeah, and then you got some brown meat. It, it just seems, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just looking at, all I'm saying is I'm looking for a recipe that doesn't have a thigh. All I'm <laughs> looking for is a little bit of sensibility from you. I'm not getting that today. It depends on the day cannibalistic it's people cannibalistic. who eat chicken thighs are cannibalistic it seems cannibalistic i think you have lost your mind well it's possible i've been taking a lot of cold medication i thought you stopped that i did i stopped last night and look at me i'm dripping and wiping and <laughs> not happy mad at you again <laughs> right <laughs> cursed you all day oh all right yeah. go stick a chicken thigh up your oh knows then not likely all right no not like hannibal hannibal cannibal oh. hannibal the cannibal yeah <laughs> non on chicken thigh <laughs> can't do it <sighs> okay you know what i need for us to do right now what i need us to go woohoo okay woohoo 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 this is a shout out to one of our friends of the podcast. Okay, I'll give another. Woohoo! Woohoo! I want to congratulate Andrea G, friend oh. of the podcast. She competed in the Okanagan Grand Fondo bike race a couple of weeks ago, and she biked it. She biked eighty-five kilometers in three and three hours and forty minutes. 
Samantha, if we were to walk 85 kilometers, we would still be walking it. <laughs> we would still be walking. And she did it in the massive heat wave that they were having. So crazy. Like that's Isn't an that Uber. Crazy? That's an Uber athlete. Yes. So I'm you. very excited for her. Gra so glad that she's back racing again. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Congratulations, Andrea. Congratulations, Andrea. Thanks mm -hmm. for sharing that too. Yes. It's I'm glad. awesome. I'm glad we found that on her. On her, we, we dug around and we found that great news. Well, because I follow her, so I know me too, right? I saw it too, and I'm like, <laughs> definitely, right? Definitely. Well, and Lisa, you did post. Speaking of like racing and all of that fun stuff, uh, Olympic. You posted an Olympic question yeah. on Facebook. Yeah, tis the season. Tis the season. Tis the season. And uh, you know what? We found out we got some swimmers, swimmers. We got some equestrians. We got some track athletes. Right. Uh, somebody wanted to be a gymnast. But the most impressive was Tara because apparently she was a swimmer back in the day and wanted and tried to or wanted to be an Olympic swimmer and wow. was training to be one, I think. That's amazing, right? Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's totally cool. And we had Jessica, Jessica, who wanted to be a volley beach volleyball player, but she wasn't excited about the bikini in the sand. <laughs> And the gymnast, that's a shout out to my kid sister who wanted yeah. to be a gymnast, right? I did not know that about her. I've that's known her cool. for 51 years. I did <laughs> not know she wanted to be a gymnast. Oh, uh, yeah. The so things you, the things you learn. I th our friends of the podcast, are you excited? Are you going to watch the Olympics? Oh, yeah, totally right. I'm in it. I'm in it starting on Friday. I'll be getting up early if it's a really good event. Apparently, well, they think they apparently they think Lady Gaga is going to perform. I heard that they think Celine Dion is. She's been spotted in Paris. I think that she's probably going to carry a torch. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know Although, if she's well enough. Back to in the think. day, it used to just be the athletes. Now that's all changing, which mm -hmm. is weird. But I don't think she's well enough to perform. I don't think so. But the, I think so. So the Olympics is the hottest trend, is one of the hottest trends right now, right? Yeah. The other hottest trend, Samantha, we should use this, try this on you, I think, is sleeping with tape over your mouth. What do you think about that? How do you feel? I know, I know, I don't appreciate it. I think it's rude and I and disrespectful to me. I'm never going to do that, right? Like never going to what, do that. What is it that it does? Um, apparently, it saves your like you don't get like wrinkles. Maybe how about just Vaseline it up, lather up the Vaseline, <laughs> maybe, right? So here's the thing, right? So okay, uh -huh. picture this, right? Like I go to bed with tape over my mouth. Uh huh. What do I do if I want to talk? What do I do when I wake up and I have a thought and I, I just want to talk? There's no way you will ever do this trend because never. you will never not stop talking. No, because uh, even when I get up to go to the bathroom, I'm still, I still wake up. I look at the clock and I'm like, oh my God, it's three. I verbalize that. <laughs> How do I do that if I'm muzzled? You <laughs> don't. Right? You don't. No. And I find it an insulting trend, actually, because talkers like to talk and uh -huh. it just and talkers also deserve to sleep without being penalized by having to have a piece of tape over their mouth. I think it's for aesthetic reasons, Lisa. So don't take too much offense to it. I would rather wear a piece of tape under my chin that like fixes my double chin. Well, then. that you just got to get some straps and like, can you, you buy know? that? Can you buy that apparatus? I have no idea. Like, is it just strap and wraps around your ears? It seems I, weird and awkward, too. I would just go onto Amazon and see what you can find. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like a rabbit hole. <laughs> Throw the Vaseline in and who knows where it leads you to. Well, it won't be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and it, Nor will it be in my repertoire. <laughs> no. But the idea of, like, having something over my mouth and only being able to breathe from my nose. When I was a kid... Feels constricting. I, I used to do that to my kid sister, right? She was a sound sleeper when she was like in her teens. And I used to go in her room and I'd plug her nose and put my hand over her mouth and she'd wake up. She'd be like, Ugh. right? Because we had that type of love hate relationship back in those days. Now it's just love. But at one oh. point it was also sprinkled with hate. Hi, hi. She used to dip my toothbrush in the pee. <laughs> <laughs> right? You guys were horrible to each other. <laughs> we did. We did not like each other until we were like 30. My sister and I just yelled at each other and basically yeah, like told each other off. Yeah, and we did that too. But there were secret you know, things too that we used to do. Secret things that our mom would have been so mad at if she ever uh -huh. knew that we did. Right. But uh, I just think that that's horrible. Like don't. It's like putting a pillow over somebody's face. You don't do that. Don't you do no. 
Don't you dare. The idea of, of that or like something over my nose. Oh, I get no. When I watch people, like when you see people uh, get their faces, yeah. like what is that? Making a mask or something and they have to yeah. put their face in like that yeah. uh, goop. Yeah. And they cover, and all they have is like little hole. Oh, Do you remember I, five? Remember five years ago when I had my heart attack and I had to wear that mask? Yeah, on my face. Remember, and I kept taking it off. Yeah, and were getting so mad at me. I'm like, yeah. I don't do, ma- I don't, I don't, I don't do things over my nose. Yeah, and oh. mouth at the same time. Blah. Right, so crazy. No thanks, man. No thanks. No thanks, man. That is your worst nightmare. Tape over your mouth. Totally right. I'm not part of that, and and it's rude and disrespectful to talkers. <laughs> right. <laughs> As a talker, I take that very yeah. offensively. I find it yes. very offensive. As you should, Lisa. Totally. Right? It's very much directed towards you. So please take it personal. I, which, which I have. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> totally have. Okay. But I am shaking my head. And I'm bringing it back because I needed to shake my head at it again. I'm bringing back naughty knickers. Oh, we talked about we gotta, that a couple of weeks ago. We got to talk about it again because I keep seeing these stupid ads. For naughty knickers. Naughty knickers. Well, and- I, I Googled naughty knickers and it doesn't come up what you, it comes up dirty, like hooker <laughs> panties, right? Like they got no crotch. Oh, no. Then you got, you're on the wrong website, Lisa. <laughs> um, it's the, what caught me this nat- last time was <laughs> cool your coochie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, like, why are we doing this? Why are we renaming a woman's? body part right because coochie sounds better than vagina yeah and then and then i saw another one and, and it's got got sweaty coconuts and then that <laughs> makes me think of the vp saying what about those coconuts or how about, those, about coconuts? those coconuts or, right and i'm like oh my god so apparently that's a moisture wicking bra and they have moisture wicking underwear so Ooh. i keep seeing this and i and i and i think i'm gonna go to that website and i feel like I'm going to challenge myself to buy a pair and see if they really are legit. So you should get the panties. I should get the bra because this girl in this heat, way too much information, too much information alert, too much information <laughs> alert, has had, because I'm big busted, a boob rash from hell. <laughs> Is that menopausal? I don't remember it in my 40s. I think it could. Well, if you're getting a hot flash, then yes. Everything just sits a little bit snugger on uh-huh. my body. Yeah. And then when you go to clean and get changed, you're like, whoa, <laughs> what, what have I found here? Right? Pray tell, what is that? What's living under here, may I ask? So you have, you know, I feel like you don't have a filter anymore. You, you <laughs> share poop stories, you share pee stories, you share all sorts of things. And now we know that you have a boob rash. I don't right now because it's not as hot. It's fixed. <laughs> gone but maybe a wicking bra might help if they make one big enough for you <laughs> and if it has the support right i don't need that god. oh my god my goodness right? i just i keep seeing this naughty i'm like okay clever so clever yeah naughty knickers as totally. your company totally. and then how they phrase everything like cool your cooch and I, <laughs> got sweaty coconuts right <laughs> Totally. I totally got sweaty coconuts and whose cooch can't be cooler. Maybe we could be the spokesperson. Hey, dear naughty knickers. <laughs> right. I could handle it. I could handle a cooler cooch. Oh my God. We should get a sponsor. Right. Oh, you want to be a sponsor of the podcast? I will gladly support your stuff and have cooler cooch and cooler coconuts. Yes, I, I, because I'm shaking my head, but I'm also laughing hysterically because their marketing is genius. It's so creative, right? It's so creative. Because how many weeks after it still sticks with you? It's still there. It's still there, right, Samantha? I think that's the best part is that it's still, it's still there. And I'm glad that it's not the hooker panties that I thought it was. No, it's not the hook. Right? I must be, I must be, I must be spelling something wrong because it totally took me to a place I'm like, I do. What is she talking about? What? I guess it's, these would keep your coochie cool. It's not no naughty cooch. as in naughty. It's naughty as in, in a knot, like yeah, it tying I, it in a knot. I must have spelt it wrong. I must have you spelt must it have. like as in bad. Uh-huh. Right. Good old English language. Look where it can take you. 
(laughs) (laughs) Oh, yes. So fun. So exciting. But you know, guys, we would love it if you connect with us on our many social platforms. Check us uh, check us out on our website, which is ishakemyheadpod.com and sign up for our newsletters. Check out our blog, leave us a message or a voicemail, which you can do it all on the website and then stay to listen to any of our episodes. You can actually also find our YouTube channel there as well. Everything is literally in one spot for you. Yeah. So if you want to catch our videos, check out our YouTube page, subscribe to it. We've got a hundred so far. Where are we going? Can we, let's, it's time to, where are we taking it to? Can we, let's go for 150? 150. By, okay. So let's be generous. Christmas. (laughs) By Christmas. 150 by Christmas. Come on. (laughs) Right. We can do it, people. We can do it. Yeah. And if you subscribe, you get notified of the new episodes as they get uh, loaded on there. So please subscribe. Uh, we also have Patreon, which is patreon.com slash I shake my head. Uh, for as little as $2 a month, you get the episode early and an extra episode every month. And we're actually uh, putting out July's episode today or tomorrow. Uh, and uh, so there's a little extra content for those Patreon uh, listeners. And if you need some cool I shake my head swag, you can go to Threadless, which is I shake my head dot Threadless dot com. Uh, and I think our new logo is up, right, Lisa? Yes, the new logo is up. I can't, still can't figure out the coffee cup, but oh. uh, maybe I'll be able to message my best friend, Sarah. <laughs> she said, ask any questions about oh, anything. Yes, well, yeah, the door is open. <laughs> right? She left it open and I like to run on through. <laughs> um, we also want to thank John Jamingo for putting out our, our editing our podcast each and every week. Thank you, John. And, and thank that, you for the invite to football. Yes. Reigning always. champ. Friends of the podcast, if we can get Samantha to join, you have to do it on your own. He can't help you, just like nobody helped me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a fun challenge all season? We could keep it going. <sighs> Who's winning, Lisa or Sam? Oh, God. Right? That would be so much fun. You know I won't win because I won't care. But I didn't care until I started winning, and then I cared. And you're competitive like that, too. <laughs> Right? <laughs> I think that that's what we should do, Samantha. And we both just do it. Let's okay. jump in. I'm jump gonna, in. I'm going to message your boyfriend and say, Sam's going to do it too. Send me an invite. But you have to But it ha- you have to be fair. You can't have him do it. You have to pick when it's time. Oh, calm down. I don't need help. Well, I know that if there's a way to cheat sometimes. It's not just me interested in it. Uh, uh, uh. All right, Samantha. Anything <laughs> else you want to <laughs> The look of shock on my face. Be right? Well. <laughs> Friends of the podcast, have yourself a fantastic week. Yes, everybody. Samantha, always a pleasure. Yeah, it should be. Mm-hmm. Who's a pretty girl? I'm a pretty girl.